For the second time in as many days, Toronto fire crews are battling a blaze at the same high school. Firefighters were called back to York Memorial Collegiate before dawn this morning, just hours after the first fire was thought to be under control. The fire chief says this is a five alarm fire and it is complicated. We've got CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick standing by live right there at the scene. I can see crews behind you in the tape, of course, set up. Megan, what's the status of things? Yeah, there are a lot of firefighters on scene here, Suhanna, and they have been here since about 3.30 this morning when this second fire broke out at this high school in Toronto around the Eglinton and Keel area. I'm just going to step out of the frame a little bit so you can get a closer look exactly at what's going on here. And I can tell you, it looks like things are a little bit better just based on the color of the smoke, Suhanna, because a few minutes ago it was dark black smoke pouring out of the school. Uh, not as dark now, but you can see the firefighters there up on the ladders pouring uh, water into the school from above. We were told earlier this morning there are no firefighters inside the building because it's simply too unsafe for them. So they are attacking this fire strictly from the outside. Uh, we were on the other side of the school when we first arrived on the scene and I got up pretty close to the perimeter and I can tell you the smoke billowing out, billowing out of it uh, was very dark and very thick. Uh, people um, are on scene here are wearing masks to try and protect from the uh, fumes um, and we could see flames coming out of the windows. It's believed that this fire uh, started in the auditorium of the school. The cause is not yet known, but the fire chief is saying they believe it is separate from the fire that happened here yesterday around two in the afternoon that they did get under control. And then again, the second fire breaking out early this morning. Let's listen to more of what the uh, uh, fire chief told reporters this morning. While this is the same building as we were at yesterday, all indications are that this, the fire we're dealing with now is separate and distinct from the fire that we dealt with yesterday. Having said that, the investigation into, the fire, into yesterday's fire uh, was and still is ongoing. This is a very, very large building with a very complex fire, so we've got, uh, we've got a large volume, a large number of firefighters working here. And you can, again, just see the destruction of the school behind me, Suhanna. The blackened uh, bricks there. There are bricks all around the ground, too, spread around where, they, uh, where the wall uh, has collapsed in. Fire hoses snaked all around the uh, parking lot here. Uh, no injuries reported, Suhanna, but we do know yesterday one student was treated uh, for minor smoke inhalation. But given the scale of this fire, good news that nobody's been hurt by it. And what's the school saying, Megan? The school principal was here on scene this morning and she was very emotional when she talked to reporters uh, just saying that this uh, fire is devastating and it's heartbreaking. This school has a very long history, Suhanna. It is about 90 years old and she was talking about how they have an upcoming reunion plan to celebrate the school's history later this month. This school was originally built in 1929 to honour young Canadians who were killed in the First World War. There's a lot of uh, memorabilia in the school, a lot of tributes to Canada's fallen soldiers, and she talked about that history to reporters this morning. Take a listen. Devastated, um, heartbroken. The school has a long-standing history in this, uh, in, in this area, in this community. Um, it's a wonderful school with wonderful staff and students, and this is going to be a heartbreak for many, for many of us, including myself. So that was uh, the school principal, and we should be hearing again, Suhanna, from Toronto's fire chief for an update in just a few minutes. And we know Toronto's mayor, John Tory, is also on his way to the scene. There are a lot of firefighters on scene, as well as Toronto police, and they have issued an evacuation for some of the surrounding uh, streets. It's quite a residential neighbourhood surrounding this school here, but then there's also a number of businesses along Eglinton Avenue as well. Uh, so some people have been evacuated just because of the smoke that is pouring into the neighbourhood neighborhood around this school. Uh, so quite an impact here, uh, this fire so far this morning. Firefighters working very hard to try and get it under control. So Hannah. Thanks for that, Megan. We'll talk again. CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick in Toronto.